name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, I want to welcome you as we are dealing with the Holy Spirit. This is the month that we have to pray that God is direction. God is Holy Spirit to talk to us. God is Holy Spirit to speak to us. God, God, is, God is Holy Spirit to read us and show us things that we do not know. The Holy Spirit is the director of the ministers. If you don't know how to operate in the Holy Spirit, if you don't know how to, to operate with the Holy Spirit, you better seek God. You better call this Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the one who leads you. The Holy Spirit is the one who tells you go. It's the Holy Spirit is the one who tells you there is danger. The Holy Spirit cry upon you. And when, when, when you need to go, when you do anything, it's, it's the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the Holy Spirit is the one present at work in the creation. Genesis 1 and 2, when God was creating the world, when God was creating the earth, the Holy Spirit was present in, in, with God. And, and in the book of Genesis 1 2, the Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Joseph. In Genesis 41 verse 38, the Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Moses. In number 11 verse 17, the Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Joshua. In Numbers, in Numbers 27 8, you see, the Holy Spirit is the one who works with the ministers. The Holy Spirit is the one who works with the prophets. The Holy Spirit is the one who, direct with the, who directs the prophets and directs the ministers. The Holy Spirit is the one who came upon, upon Gideon in the book of Judges 6.34. The Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Jehoshaphat in, in, in the book of Judges 11.29. The Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Samson in Judges 14, verse 8, and verse 8 and 19. You can see the Holy Spirit is the one who directed the ministers. Therefore, people of God, we need to have the Holy Spirit. Look at this. The Holy Spirit is the, is the one who came upon Saul in 1 Samuel 10, 10. The Holy Spirit is the one who came upon David in 1 Samuel 18, verse 13. The Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Elijah in 1 Kings 18, verse, 20, 18, verse 12. You see, the Holy Spirit is your director. If you don't have the director called the Holy Spirit, your ministry can be having some problems, some issues. People who do not know how to operate the, with the Holy Spirit, I would ask you, please, to go and seek him because this is the spirit that beat the leaders, the spirit that was with the prophets, the spirit that directed the, the, the ministers, the, the, the prophets, the, the, the pastors. It is this the, the spirit that I'm talking about. If you look at from the book of Genesis to the, the, to, the, to the Revelation, you can see how the Holy Spirit was operating. The Holy Spirit is the one who came in Elijah. In the book of Second Kings, 2 verse 15. The Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Zechariah, the high priest, in Second in Second Chronicles 24:28. The Holy Spirit is the one who came upon Isaiah, upon Israel, in elders, in Numbers 11:25. So you see, the Holy Spirit he came to the ministers. He came to to, to, to give them to, to give them instruction to lead them. The Holy Spirit is the one who lead through the wilderness. In, 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 in Nehemiah 9 verse 20, the Holy Spirit is the one who minister, who, who, who will minister to Israel during the millennium reign in, uh, in Zechariah 12 verse 10 and the second that is 7 verse 13 to 14. The Holy Spirit is the one who, who came to provide the Savior with the, the Savior with the easy earthly body. Luke 1 35, Matthew 1 18 to 20. The Holy Spirit is the anointed Savior. Matthew 3 18. The Holy Spirit is the one who directed the Savior to, 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 to be tempted by the devil. You see, the Holy Spirit lead Jesus. The Holy Spirit lead the Savior. The Holy Spirit is the one who, who directed the Savior to be tempted by, the, by Satan. 
The Holy Spirit is the one who empowered the Savior. Matthew 11, verse 28. The Holy Spirit is the one who caused the Savior to sorrow. The Holy Spirit is the one who caused the Savior to rejoice. The Holy Spirit is the one who read the Savior to Calvary. The Holy Spirit is the one who rested the body of the Savior. The Holy Spirit is the one who, who convicts the unsaved person of sin, righteous, and judgment. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives birth to church. And Acts 2, verse 1 to 14. You see, the Holy Spirit is the one who gives birth to the church in the, during the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I want to read more scripture about the Holy Spirit. That minister, the Holy Spirit is the director of the minister. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is the, is the one who inspires, who inspires the worship service to the church. So the Holy Spirit is the one that minister. Is the one that directs ministers. Is the one who leads even the choir. The Holy Spirit is the one minister to the choir to compose the songs, praise and worship. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is the one who directs the church's missionary work. In Acts 8, verse 27, verse 29. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my God, in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the one who anoints the church preachers. The Holy Spirit is the one who anoints the church preachers, preachers in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. I bless your name for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to read from the book of Acts 8 verse 29. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over and walk along beside the, the carriage. You see, the Holy Spirit talks. The Holy Spirit directs Philip to go and walk around beside the carriage. Philip ran and heard the man reading from the book of the reading from the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked, Do you understand what you are reading? You know, this the Holy Spirit is the one who talk who speak to, to Philip and told Philip, Walk, go, directed Philip. The Holy Spirit is the one who directed Philip. The Holy Spirit is our director. He directs us. The Holy Spirit he directs, he directs ministers. Now Philip was doing his, or he was on his way. And the Holy Spirit told Philip, go. The, the Holy Spirit talks. The Holy Spirit told Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. So now the Holy Spirit told Philip to go and walk beside the, 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 the man who was working, who was reading the book of Isaiah, but he didn't, he didn't have understanding. He didn't know what he was reading. Because you, you can read the Bible. Many, many people, they read the Bible, but they don't understand it. They just read, but read, read, but they don't understand what the Bible is saying. Many, many people, many people, they tell me they don't understand what the Bible is saying. This is the same man who was reading the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. Now, when he was reading, but he, he was reading loud, but he was not, he, he didn't understand what he was reading. Now, it, the, the Bible says, this man, and when Philip started walking beside him, Philip heard him that the man was reading, but he doesn't understand what he was reading. The Bible says that Philip asked him, do you understand what you are reading? Many of us, many, many, many people, they have the Bible, they read, 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 but they don't understand. You need the Holy Spirit to help you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My Heavenly Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor, my God. Thank you, Lord Father, that God, you are able to speak to people. You are able to speak to your, your ministers. You are able to speak to the, to the prophets. To, to the prep, to the prophets, oh Lord, my Father, I want to thank you. I want to give you the glory. I want to give you the honor. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
Oh, Rabashato, oh, Rabakurianda, Rabashata. Yes, Lord, my Father, I honor you, Lord. I glorify your name. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who reveals things that we do not know. The Holy Spirit is the one who brings information from heaven to us. The Holy Spirit is the one who comforts us. The Holy Spirit is the one who intercedes for us when we do not know what to pray. But the Holy Spirit can pray for us in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, Lord, my Father, I thank you. Look at this. When the Holy, Spirit, when the person was reading, but he didn't know what to, what was reading, but he was reading. The Holy Spirit told, directed, directed Philip, go and hear and listen what this person is reading. As you keep on your, as you keep humble yourself, the Lord will never forget you. The Lord will be with you. The Lord will come and help you. He will help you. He will give you a divine helper who will help you to direct you how to do things in the right way. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray that let this Holy Spirit bring you somebody who can stand with you. Bring you somebody that who can interpret the words with you. Bring somebody that who needs who needs to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. You need a spiritual father. You need a spiritual mother. You need some Somebody who can help you, whom you can talk to. This man did not have a spiritual father. This man did not have anybody who can, even a preacher, even pastor. There were nobody who could help him. But the Holy Spirit told Philip, run, run, go there and see and hear what that man is reading. Now the Philip, the man said, do you, Philip ran over and heard the man reading from the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked him, do you understand? Hallelujah. Philip, Philip asked him, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, I unless someone instruct me? And he heartened Philip to come up to the carriage and sit with him. So you need a, you need a, you need a minister, you need a pastor who can help you to, to, to understand the scripture, who can help you to teach, who can help you to teach. Now this man, when Philip asked him, do you understand what you are reading? The man said, the man replied, how, how can I, unless someone instruct me? So you need someone, you need someone to help you. You need someone that the spirit of the Lord talk, talk, direct Philip to go to this man. And the man was reading. He did not understand what he was reading. And the, the man when Philip, when Philip heard him and asked him, and the man was honest with the Philip, and Philip started helping him. And this man, at the end, he requested Philip to baptize him. And Philip did what he, the man wanted. Therefore, I pray that you will get a helper. You will get the helper who will help you. You will get help that, that will direct you, who will show you the things that you don't understand. You need your, a pastor who understands who understands you, who help you, who sits who sit you beside you. Like what, the, what this man told Philip. He told Philip, come and sit with me and let us study the Bible. Let us study the word of God. When we sit together, like now, when we come to Periscope, we come to study the word of God. Because you don't understand, you need help. The Holy Spirit is your help. The Holy Spirit can help you and it can introduce you to your spirit of parents to your spiritual father in the name of jesus i i i i tell you that when i didn't know this deliverance i didn't know i didn't have anybody who can teach me who can tell me the deliverance i i have nobody i such as i such i didn't have anybody who could help me but the same god who sent his angel through the holy spirit and this angel came and find me and they, they and they told me the, about the deliverance i received it I, I said I wish I had somebody who could tell me before, but now it is. It, but now it's okay. So I, from that time, my life changed. When you meet somebody who can give you instruction, who can tell you what to do, your life will never be the same again. You need somebody. You need a spiritual pa fa father. You need a spiritual mother. You need somebody who can help you to understand the scripture. Because many, many, many people, honestly. Some people, many of them, they can be my witness. They read the Bible, but they don't understand the Bible. You need help. You need help. You need to join the class of deliverance, the, the, the class of school of deliverance and healing, so that you can learn 
how to read and how to understand the scripture. My God, I want to thank you, Father. I want to honor you, God. I want to bless your name, Jesus. I thank you that God, my Father, as I commit your people into your hand, those who are struggling to read their Bible, they can, they can read, but they don't understand. Oh, God, my Father, I pray that God provide Philip to them. Provide somebody like Philip. Provide them somebody like Philip to help them to understand the scripture, to help them to baptize them, to help them to read with them, to study the Bible study. My God, I want to thank you. Open your house, open your home to have a Bible study. Open your home. You can get help if you open your home for Bible study. Come and join Periscope here. Join us. Join us and we can start the Bible study together in the name of Jesus. Because you cannot read the Bible and you can't understand. You read it, you read it, but you, you, are, you cannot understand. So you, get, you give up, you get discouraged. God, my Father, I want to thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I love you. Jesus, I worship you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I worship you. There is no another God like you. Oh, mighty God, King of glory, I worship you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, I am going to pray for you and prophesy to you what the Holy Spirit is saying. The Holy Spirit is telling me to tell you to keep on praying. You to keep on praying. Keep on praying. Intercede. Pray. Pray. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. This is what the Spirit is telling me. Keep on praying. Keep yourself prayer. Be addicted in prayer. Pray. Hallelujah. Yes. Unless you pray very hard, the storm is coming. There is a storm coming. Unless you pray very hard, in the name of Jesus, the storm will not overtake you. Because the storm is coming, but when he found you prayer, prayer warriors, the storm will be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you once again. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you because, Lord, there is nothing you can do without referring to your prophet, to your, your servant, Lord, my Father. The way you you, you 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 talk to Philip, you ask Philip to run, you ask Philip to go to this man who was reading the book, but he did not understand what he was reading, and Philip helped the man. Therefore, your help is coming, your divine help is coming. Somebody is coming to help you in the name of Jesus. All that what you have been struggling, you are going to get the help. The divine help is coming. Is coming on your way and they will help you in the name of Jesus. You need instructor. You need somebody to tell, to talk to you in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I thank you. I give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, fellow man. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful time, people of God. I know that uh, the Lord is good and he will deliver you in the name of Jesus. He will not abandon you. He will not leave you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, treasure. God bless you. Thank you for joining. And, uh, and God is, is good. Holy Spirit is the director of our, minist our ministers. So the, 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 the director, the Holy Spirit is the director of our ministers. So our, our ministers need the director of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the Spirit of God, it, it direct ministers. It direct ministers. It direct prophets. It direct uh, pastors. Therefore, we thank God for the Holy Spirit. We bless God. We give God honor and, and, and glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so much, treasure. Have a wonderful time. We'll talk. And... Uh, 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 some of you will come to repray the prayer. You can always go to our website www.overcomers 
dhministry.blogspot.ca. Also, you can, we have the phone, you can call us 647-608-5207. Another number we have is 877-241-3420. God bless you. You can also reach us. The number is, there is a number here also, 904-905-487-7196. God bless you. Have you have a wonderful time? See you tomorrow, eight o'clock. Have a wonderful time. Thank you, Felmat. Thank you for those who have come. God bless you. I love you so much. There's nothing I can do about it. I love you. Bye.